he has my heart 100%. Hi, Chloe. Hi. How are you? I'm good. How are you? Very well. Thank you. That's good. So let's get started by asking. I've always been partial to Tom. So are you team Tom or team Jerry? I'm happy to hear that because everyone says they're team Jerry. I'm team Tom. I've always loved Tom so much. He has my heart 100%. Yeah, I think uh, he got he's he's been getting most of the brunts of the, <laughs> of hate. Of the accidents. Right? <laughs> completely, completely. He's the one that really gets bonked on the head one too many times. That rodent is toast. And the whole time I was thinking, when I was watching the movie, I was thinking, poor actors, what are they looking at? And because it's even harder because Tom and Jerry don't speak like in the original. What were you looking at? What were you doing? I mean, that's exactly it. They, they, they don't speak, they're not there. So pretty much it was just me talking to myself most of the time. Um, and I, I really had the, the, the luck and the, the chance to work with both Tom and Jerry a lot during the movie. So majority of my scenes were really just on my own talking to, to nothing. And I really think it made me a better actor for, for being able to be a part of it. I shine under pressure like a diamond for Rihanna. <laughs> now there's a scene, well, obviously when you're talking Tom and Jerry, there's massive destruction. So there's a scene where the hotel is pretty much under attack and things are falling. I mean, was that all that real around this, you know, make believe windstorm of, uh, of the animals? A solid amount of that was, you know, was real. Um, we had obviously no animals and no tornado, but we had a lot of wind. We had a lot of things breaking around. The entire ceiling was all fake, but we did have stuff that fell down. Um, so, they, you know, there were some good practicals um, that, that went along with it. And same with the end of the movie with the elephants, we had um, like big puppet elephants, basically. So we could see the life-size scale. And it was kind of really cool that what they did is they, they stayed OG with the 2D. So it was really kind of cool to see because we've, we've come accustomed to seeing like video game CGI kind of look, right? Yeah, that was one of my first questions coming out of the project before uh, I decided to be a part of it. I was like, you guys aren't messing this up and doing these like 3D generated characters that look nothing like Tom and Jerry. I was like, because that's not my Tom and Jerry. And uh, Tim's yeah. story was like, no, I agree. I wouldn't be doing this either if it wasn't, you know, our classic characters that we love on screen. So I'm, I'm really proud that they sucked to that. So it sounds like you were a fan of, the, of Tom and Jerry. I mean, they're 81 years old. Who knew they were around for that long when I was I know, they look great for so 81. You grew up watching <laughs> What's their secret? <laughs> What's their secret? What are y'all doing? Um, <laughs> I, I, I've been a big fan of Tom and Jerry since I was little. I think some of my earliest memories are watching Tom and Jerry. And I would say it honestly is because they are silent characters. The fact that, you know, you don't have to understand comedic dialogue as a two, three year old. So you're able to watch these two do these crazy antics on screen and you just fall in love with them immediately right off the bat. Yeah. So, so I want to ask you during the pandemic, have you been binge watching shows? What are you watching? Are you binging on books? Um, you know, all of the above. I think I've, I've gone through all my phases. Now I'm watching like reality TV, but I went through like a Westworld phase <laughs> and Game of Thrones and all the like fancy shows. And then now I'm just watching like New Jersey Housewives. So that's where <laughs> I'm at currently. You're done with all the fantasy. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I can't I can't handle I can't handle uh, any serious shows right now. I just need to watch something where I can zone out and just go along for the ride. And this movie fits the bill. Kids are going to love it. And the old fans as well. Agreed. Thank you.